Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Dutch ebook before it's gone. Hi there, and welcome to this Dutch class. My name is Stella, and today we're going to talk about some different phrases uh, that you can use to amaze native speakers of the Dutch language. Are you ready? Let's go! Dank je, maar eigenlijk ben ik geen native speaker. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. After this class, um, people automatically assume that you're a native speaker, and then you can baffle them with this sentence. Dank je, maar eigenlijk ben ik geen native speaker. Dank je, maar eigenlijk ben ik geen native speaker. Thank you, but I'm actually not a native speaker. Um, so make sure this comes out completely fluent, uh, because you don't want to ruin the effect. Um, so did you notice that um, the Dutch verb for native speaker is just native speaker borrowed from the English? That ought to make it a little bit easier for you. Ik had maar een jaar nodig om er vloeiend in te worden. It only took me one year to become fluent. Next sentence. Ik had maar een jaar nodig om er vloeiend in te worden. Ik had maar een jaar nodig om er vloeiend in te worden. And this means, it only took me one year to become fluent. Now, don't feel bad if this is not true. Um, Dutch is a notoriously difficult language to master, so it will probably take anyone more than a year. Ik spreek in drie jaar tijd Nederlands als een native speaker. I'll speak Dutch like a native speaker in three years. This one is a touch more realistic. Ik spreek in drie jaar tijd Nederlands als een native speaker. Ik spreek in drie jaar tijd Nederlands als een native speaker. So this sentence is said like it's like a New Year's resolution, right? So if you want to say that it has already happened, um, then you should use the past tense. So you would say, ik sprak in drie jaar tijd, uh, instead of um, ik spreek. Ik ben al tien jaar Nederlands aan het leren. I've been learning Dutch for ten years. Uh, this next one is for everyone who feels that it's going to take some more time. Ik ben al tien jaar Nederlands aan het leren. Ik ben al tien jaar Nederlands aan het leren. I've been learning Dutch for ten years. So to be honest, um, even native Dutch speakers make mistakes. Um, I've been learning Dutch for 27 years. Uh, it's a hard language, guys, so don't feel bad. Ik kan Nederlandse films zonder ondertiteling kijken. I can watch Dutch movies without subtitles. Here's one that's a true accomplishment, and it's within reach. Ik kan Nederlandse films zonder ondertiteling kijken. Ik kan Nederlandse films zonder ondertiteling kijken. And this means I can watch Dutch movies without subtitles. Um, now the only question remaining is why would you want to watch Dutch movies? I'm um, just kidding. There's one movie that I really do uh, like and can recommend, and it's called Minus. Um, the story is by Annie M. G. Schmidt, uh, and it has Caris van Halte in it. So it's a really great movie. It's about a woman who's actually a cat, I think. Ik kan ongeveer 50 nieuwe Nederlandse woorden per dag onthouden. I can memorize around 50 new Dutch words a day. Next phrase. Ik kan ongeveer 50 nieuwe Nederlandse woorden per dag onthouden. Ik kan ongeveer 50 nieuwe Nederlandse woorden onthouden. I can memorize around 50 new Dutch words a day. So if that's really true, then I applaud you. 50 words is a lot to remember in one day. Nederlands is leuk en makkelijk te leren. Dutch is fun and easy to learn. Nederlands is leuk en makkelijk te leren. Nederlands is leuk en makkelijk te leren. Dutch is fun and easy to learn. Now, to be completely honest, I don't agree with this. Um, I feel it's disheartening to say that any language is easy to learn. Um, I mean, sure, we're trying to make it as easy as we can for you, um, but it takes a lot of hard work, and also it really depends on what language you're coming from. Like, if you already speak German or something, it'll be a lot easier. Um, so, however hard or easy you think it is, go you. 
and you're doing great. Naast het Nederlands kan ik ook nog een paar andere talen spreken. Apart from Dutch, I can speak a few other languages as well. Naast het Nederlands kan ik ook een paar andere talen spreken. Naast het Nederlands kan ik ook een paar andere talen spreken. Apart from Dutch, I can speak a few other languages as well. So if you're watching this, um, you at least speak English fairly well and probably a little Dutch by now. Um, so good job. And if you don't feel that that's enough, uh, I can recommend Swedish. It's a pretty language. Ik leer Nederlands helemaal zelf. I'm learning Dutch all by myself. Ik leer Nederlands helemaal zelf. Ik leer Nederlands helemaal zelf. I'm learning Dutch all by myself. If you are, don't do that. Um, the key to any language is communication. Uh, and really listening and speaking with others really help you learning this language. So whenever you can, try to practice your listening and speaking skills with a buddy who's also learning Dutch or even better with a Dutch native speaker. Um, so studying by yourself is impressive, but learning with a friend is faster and more fun. So try to find someone to study with. Ik begreep alles van wat je zei. I completely understood everything you said. Now, if things are going really well and someone is unsure about your Dutch skills, um, you can say this. Ik begreep alles van wat je zei. Ik begreep alles van wat je zei. I completely understood everything you said. Um, so Dutch people will switch to English when they uh, think that maybe um, it's easier for you. So to prevent them from doing that, um, make sure you can say the sentence so you can practice your listening skills and speaking skills too, maybe. So congratulations on finishing this lesson in 10 phrases you can use to amaze native Dutch speakers with. Um, thank you for watching. If there's anything you want to know uh, more about, let me know in the comments. Um, remember to subscribe and if you want to learn more Dutch, you can go to dutchpod101.com. Thanks for watching. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Goedenavond. Heeft u nog een kamer? Jawel, meneer. Eén persoons of twee persoons? Twee persoons graag. En met een douche. Geen probleem. Wilt u morgenochtend gewekt worden? Ja, graag. Om acht uur alstublieft. Komt voor elkaar. Mag ik uw paspoort nog even zien? Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Goedenavond. Good evening. Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Kamer. Room. Ka. Mur. Kamer. Eén persoons. Single. Eén persoons. Eén persoons. Twee persoons. Double. Twee persoons. Twee persoons. Met. With. Met. Met. Douche. Shower. Douche. 
Dusch. Geweckt. To be woken up. Geweckt. Geweckt. Als du blieft. Please. Als du blieft. Als du blieft. Mag. May. Mag. Mag. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Goedenavond. Heeft u nog een kamer? Jawel, meneer. Eén persoons of twee persoons? Twee persoons graag. En met een douche. Geen probleem. Wilt u morgenochtend gewekt worden? Ja, graag. Om acht uur alstublieft. Komt voor elkaar. Mag ik uw paspoort nog even zien? This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Hoi Tim, zullen we morgen wat gaan doen? Ja, leuk. Wat wil je doen? We kunnen samen gaan eten. Ja, leuk. En daarna naar de film? Oké. Okay. Zullen we Chinees gaan eten? Ik ga liever Italiaans eten. Is dat oké okay voor jou? Now you will hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Morgen. Tomorrow. Morgen. Morgen. Doen. To do. Doen. Doen. Leuk. Nice. Leuk. Leuk. Samen. Together. Samen. Samen. Daarna. Afterwards. Daarna. Daarna. Film. 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 Jou. You. Jou. Jou. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Hoi Tim. Zullen we morgen wat gaan doen? Ja, leuk. Wat wil je doen? We kunnen samen gaan eten. Ja, leuk. En daarna naar de film? Oké. Okay. Zullen we Chinees gaan eten? Ik ga liever Italiaans eten. Is dat oké okay voor jou? This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Hi there and welcome to this Dutch lesson. 
My name is Stella and the weather has been so lovely lately that we're going to talk about some things that you can do in the summer. Op reis gaan naar het buitenland. Op reis gaan naar het buitenland. To travel abroad. Now this first one I must admit is pretty ironic um, because a lovely thing to do in the summer in the Netherlands is op reis gaan naar het buitenland. Op reis gaan naar het buitenland. To travel abroad. Het is leuk om op reis te gaan naar het buitenland. Het is leuk om op reis te gaan naar het buitenland. It's fun to travel abroad. It's very realistic though. Um, the number one activity in the Netherlands in summer is leave the Netherlands. It's always raining here. But if the weather is nice, you could do this. Relaxen op het strand. Relaxen op het strand. To relax at the beach. Relaxen op het strand. Relaxen op het strand. Relax at the beach. Ga je morgen mee relaxen op het strand? Ga je morgen mee relaxen op het strand? Are you coming with us tomorrow to relax on the beach? Now be warned, um, the Dutch beaches aren't exceptionally beautiful and the water is cold as hell. But it's a lovely day out and other than that it's great. So here comes another very useful thing to do in summer. Nederlands leren met DutchPod101.com Nederlands leren met DutchPod101.com To learn Dutch with DutchPod101.com Nederlands leren met DutchPod101.com Nederlands leren met DutchPod101.com To learn Dutch with DutchPod101.com Nederlands leren met DutchPod101.com is een leuke hobby. Nederlands leren met DutchPod101.com is een leuke hobby. Learning Dutch with DutchPod101.com is a fun hobby. See how we snuck a little self-promotion in there? But you didn't even notice it, did you? Leren om Nederlands eten te koken. Leren om Nederlands eten te koken. To learn to cook Dutch food. Leren om Nederlands eten te koken. Leren om Nederlands eten te koken. To learn to cook Dutch food. Zullen we leren om Nederlands eten te koken? Zullen we leren om Nederlands eten te koken? Shall we learn how to cook Dutch food? Small tip, um, don't pick hutspot or andijvi. Those things are really gross. Um, pick a breakfast dish. The Dutch breakfast dishes are usually fine. You recognize this next one. Barbecuen. Barbecuen. To have a barbecue. Barbecuen. Barbecuen. To have a barbecue. Zaterdag gaan we barbecuen. Zaterdag gaan we barbecuen. We will have a barbecue on Saturday. So the Dutch word barbecue is just like the English word. Um, it's just pronounced in the Dutch fashion. De hele nacht feesten. De hele nacht feesten. To party all night. De hele nacht feesten. De hele nacht feesten. To party all night. Gisteren heb ik de hele nacht gefeest. Gisteren heb ik de hele nacht gefeest. I partied all night yesterday. Now, to be honest, um, I don't really know what that's like because I'm not much of a party animal myself. Um, so I can't give you any insights on what great party places are in the Netherlands, but probably Amsterdam. Zonnen. Zonnen. To get a tan. Zonnen. To get a tan. Ik moet echt eens gaan zonnen. Ik moet echt eens gaan zonnen. I really have to get a tan. Actually, most Dutch people are quite pale, um, so we don't really get a tan, we just get a sunburn. Um, so make sure you always use sunscreen when you're in the sun for a long period of time. If you want to do something more active, um, this may be right for you. Wandelen. Wandelen. To go hiking. Wandelen. Wandelen. To go hiking. Mijn zus houdt van wandelen. 
Mijn zus houdt van wandelen. My sister likes to go hiking. Be advised though, um, the Dutch word wandelen sort of actually means more like to go for a walk. It could also take like 15 minutes. Um, so there isn't really a Dutch equivalent to hiking because honestly there are not a lot of places where you can do that over here. Um, so you may, if, you, if you're going to use the word wandelen, make sure you use it in like a casual go for a walk context. Een bijbaantje nemen. Een bijbaantje nemen. To work a part-time job. Een bijbaantje nemen. Een bijbaantje nemen. To work a part-time job. Deze zomer neem ik een bijbaantje. Deze zomer neem ik een bijbaantje. This summer I will work a part-time job. It's a great way to earn some extra cash and to get some working experience. And because the Netherlands has a lot of beaches, um, there are usually many like beach restaurants that need people over the summer. So you can try that. Plezier hebben met vrienden. Plezier hebben met vrienden. To have fun with friends. Plezier hebben met vrienden. Plezier hebben met vrienden. To have fun with friends. Ik mis het plezier hebben met vrienden. Ik mis het plezier hebben met vrienden. I miss having fun with friends. That's kind of sad. I mean, for your sake, I hope that you have fun with friends even when it's winter or fall or spring or whatever. Um, but maybe in summer you may find some extra time um, to spend with your friends. Well, those are some suggestions for stuff you can do in the summer. Thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something. Um, if you did or if you didn't, let me know in the comments. Um, and please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more Dutch, you can visit dutchport101.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Do you feel like you don't speak enough Dutch? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn how to ask where something is located. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for directions. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Waar is de supermarkt? Die is daar. Once more with the English translation. Waar is de supermarkt? Where is the supermarket? Die is daar. It's over there. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, where is place? The pattern is, waar is place? For example, where is the supermarket? Waar is de supermarkt? Waar is de supermarkt? Now, how do you answer this question? Die is daar. Listen to it again. Die is daar. Die is daar. This Dutch sentence literally translates as, that is there. But it means, it's over there. Here are a few more places you can use with the same pattern. The supermarket. De supermarkt. De supermarkt. De supermarkt. De supermarkt. De bank. De bank. De bank. De bank. De bank. De bathroom. Het toilet. Het toilet. 
the bathroom. Het toilet. The mall. Het winkelcentrum. Het winkelcentrum. The mall. Het winkelcentrum. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Waar is de bank? Die is daar. Where is the bank? Waar is de bank? It's over there. Die is daar. Waar is het toilet? Die is daar. Where is the bathroom? Waar is het toilet? It's over there. Die is daar. Waar is het winkelcentrum? Die is daar. Where is the mall? Waar is het winkelcentrum? It's over there. Die is daar. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, where is place? Waar is place? And how do you answer it? Die is daar. Imagine you're looking for the bank. Do you remember how to say, the bank? De bank. De bank. Say, where is the bank? Waar is de bank? Now, ask where the bank is, and answer, saying the bank is over there. Waar is de bank? Die is daar. Now imagine you're looking for the bathroom. Do you remember how to say the bathroom? Het toilet. Het toilet. Say, where is the bathroom? Waar is het toilet? Now ask where the bathroom is and answer saying the bathroom is over there. Waar is het toilet? Die is daar. Now imagine you're looking for the mall. Do you remember how to say the mall? Het winkelcentrum. Het winkelcentrum. Say, where is the mall? Waar is het winkelcentrum? Now, ask where the mall is, and answer saying the mall is over there. Waar is het winkelcentrum? Die is daar. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask the location of a place. You're now able to ask for directions like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Ask your fellow learners directions to a place. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson, bye. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.
Hallo allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPod101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying bedankt. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Holland. Ben je er klaar voor? Are you ready? Let's start. The most used informal greeting is hallo. Hallo. Hallo means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. The most used formal greetings will change depending on the time of the day. Let's start with Goedendag. Goedendag. Literally, Goedendag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use Goedendag only during the daytime, from late morning until early evening. In the morning we say Goedemorgen. Good morning. Goedemorgen. During the evening we say Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Goed is Dutch for good. Dag, morgen and avond means day, morning and evening, respectively. Easy, right? What should you say when you leave? Dutch people usually say tot ziens when leaving in a formal situation. Tot ziens. Tot ziens means goodbye. If we say goodbye to friends or our relatives, we use the informal word dag. Dag. You can also say doei. The expression doei is commonly used in informal situations. Doei. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Dutch. Let's review them all again. First, the greetings. Informally, we simply say hallo. Formally, use goedemorgen in the morning, goedendag in the afternoon, and goedenavond in the evening. When leaving in a formal situation, we say tot ziens, and in an informal situation, it's dag or doei. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Marlene's insights. In formal situations, Dutch people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. On the other hand, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we kiss each other on both cheeks, usually two or three times. Don't be afraid to do it with your Dutch friends. It's normal. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Spreekt u Engels? Do you already know it? I'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our next Nederlands in 3 minuten lesson. Tot ziens! Woon je weer in Nederland? Ja, ik woon weer hier. Ik woon weer in Amsterdam. In het centrum. Ja, en waar woon jij? Ik woon ook in Amsterdam. Werk je in het centrum? Ja, ik werk hier. Werk jij ook in het centrum? Nee, ik werk thuis. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Dutch. Hi everybody, my name is Thomas. Welcome to the 800 core Dutch words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Dutch. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at dutchpot101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Dutch. Okay, let's get started. First is... Vandaag. Today. Vandaag. Vandaag. Today. Ze ziet er verdrietig uit vandaag. She looks really sad today. Ze ziet er erg verdrietig uit vandaag. Ze ziet er erg verdrietig uit vandaag. Gisteren. Yesterday. Gisteren. Gisteren. Yesterday. Ik heb gisteren een vrije dag genomen. I took a day off yesterday. 
Ik heb gisteren een vrije dag genomen. Morgen. Tomorrow. Morgen. Morgen. Tomorrow. See you morgen. See you tomorrow. Zie je morgen. Week. 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 Er zitten zeven dagen in een week. There are seven days in a week. Er zitten zeven dagen in een week. Jaar. Year. Jaar. Jaar. Year. Een kalenderjaar. One calendar year. Een kalenderjaar. Seconde. Second. Seconde. Seconde. Second. Er zijn nog 50 seconden op de stopwatch over. There are 50 seconds left on the stopwatch. Er zijn nog 50 seconden op de stopwatch over. Minuut. Minute. Minuut. Minuut. Minute. Het is een minuut voor middernacht. It's one minute to midnight. Het is één minuut voor middernacht. Uur. Hour. Uur. Uur. Hour. Ik slaap elke dag acht uur. I sleep for eight hours every day. Ik slaap elke dag acht uur. Klok. 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 De klok geeft acht minuten voor twaalf aan. De klok reads eight minutes to twelve. De klok geeft acht minuten voor twaalf aan. Uur. A clock. Uur. Uur. A clock. Het is drie uur. It's three o'clock. Het is drie uur. Kalender. Calendar. Kalender. Kalender. Calendar. Ik heb onze feestdag aangegeven op de kalender. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Ik heb onze feestdag Aangegeven op de kalender. Maandag. Monday. Maandag. Maandag. Monday. De werkweek begint op maandag. The work week starts on Monday. De werkweek begint op Maandag. Dinsdag. Tuesday. 
dinsdag. Dinsdag. Tuesday. Volgende week dinsdag. Tuesday next week. Volgende week dinsdag. Woensdag. Wednesday. Woensdag. Woensdag. Wednesday. De woensdagavonden spelen we bij mij thuis poker. Wednesday nights we play poker at my house. De woensdagavonden spelen we bij mij thuis poker. Donderdag. Thursday. Donderdag. Donderdag. Thursday. Op donderdag. On Thursday. Op donderdag. Vrijdag. Friday. Vrijdag. Vrijdag. Friday. Schrijf de plannen voor vrijdag op de kalender. Write the plans for Friday on the calendar. Schrijf de plannen voor vrijdag op de kalender. Zaterdag. Saturday. Zaterdag. Zaterdag. Saturday. Elke zaterdag doe ik vijf uur lang het huishouden. I do housework every Saturday for five hours. Elke zaterdag doe ik vijf uur lang het huishouden. Zondag. Sunday. Zondag. Zondag. Sunday. Zondag is het vaderdag. Sunday is Father's Day. Zondag is het vaderdag. Doen. Do. Doen. Doen. Do. Ik heb zoveel werk te doen. I have so much work to do. Ik heb zo veel werk te doen. Gaan. Go. Gaan. Gaan. Go. Ik ga in de stad naar school. I go to school in the city. Ik ga in de stad naar school. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at dutchpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Dutch ebook before it's gone.